On the night of September 21, there was a drone attack on the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. Ukraine's drones attacked an ammunition depot belonging to the Russian army in Kameny settlement of Tykorek district. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred in the warehouse. The warehouse is said to contain North Korean-made ammunition. The regional head confirmed the drone attack. According to him, two drones were intercepted by air defense and electronic warfare forces, but the debris from one of them caused a fire, which spread to explosive materials, resulting in detonation. The governor also stated that a temporary evacuation of residents to nearby populated areas is underway. A temporary accommodation center will be established in Tykoretsk. Preliminary information indicates that there are no casualties among residents. Долго еще будет гореть. Artillery shells, sold by Indian arms makers, are being diverted to Ukraine by European buyers, with New Delhi not intervening to stop the trade, despite protests from Moscow. The transfer of ammunition to support Ukraine's defense has been going on for more than a year, Reuters reports, citing Indian and European government and defense officials, and an analysis of customs data. However, Indian government and defense industry sources told Reuters that Delhi produced only a very small amount of the ammunition used by Ukraine, with one official estimating it was less than 1% of the total arms Kiev imported since the war. Among the European countries that send Indian ammunition to Ukraine are Italy and the Czech Republic, according to a Spanish and a senior Indian official, as well as a former top manager of Yantra India, a state-owned company whose ammunition is used by Ukraine. Indian officials and defense industry representatives said India was monitoring the situation but had taken no action to restrict supplies to Europe. Delhi, long the world's largest arms importer, also sees the prolonged war in Europe as an opportunity to boost its nascent arms export sector. Indian sources say Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh had earlier said defense exports exceeded $2.5 billion in the last financial year and that Delhi wants to increase them to around $6 billion by 2029. Meanwhile, Reuters reports that customs records show that in the two years before Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, three major Indian ammunition makers, Yantra, Munitions India, and Kalyani Strategic Systems, exported $2.8 million worth of ammunition components to Italy and the Czech Republic, as well as Spain and Slovenia, where defense contractors have invested heavily in Ukraine's supply chains. And from February 2022 to July 2024, this figure rose, 
to $135.25 million, including finished ammunition, which India began exporting to four countries. The Kremlin has raised the issue at least twice, including during a July meeting between Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and his Indian counterpart, three Indian officials said. Lavrov pressed his counterpart about Indian ammunition used by the Ukrainians, complaining that some of it was made by state-owned Indian companies, according to an Indian official with direct knowledge of the meeting.